Your folks in New York, I know they probably know what industry you're in. Do they? Do they look? I know this is. A, this is. I'm digging in personally now. Well, my kid. <laughs> like your family, like your your like your family in New York when they when you say, "Damn, yeah, they go Joey, that damn kid, weed head." <laughs> I saw, I sat my kids down when you know when I moved to California last year. I mean, I was with my kids. I saw where I was going. You know, I mean, I was gonna I was gonna lie to them, but my, you know, my 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 kids are are, are almost teenagers. One's a teenager now, so I sat my kids down and told them what I was doing and explained to them what it was and that it's not you know a drug and you know I also actually even use that moment in their life to like express to them that they need to come and you know you know almost like hey listen I, I'm telling you this about my life just so you guys know you can always come to me about drugs please don't ever take drugs on your own realize that your dad is is, is in tune with what's going on and please come to me before you you know experiment with anything so I kind of use that as a pivotal point in my with me and my kids to open up to them and try to build that trust where they would open up to me hopefully they'll protect them from getting involved in some you know some some kind of bad stuff one day um, as far as my family, like my aunts and uncles, yeah, they all know what I do. They don't. They don't understand it. You know, they're all. I'm. A, I'm. I'm Italian, so they don't. They don't really get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to dig at right there. Yeah, they but don't I, really but get I appreciate it. the the, 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 the <laughs> honesty in there. But I was like, man, there's no way how they're like, hey, man. There he goes. He's. A, I think he's a hippie. He's gone and growing his hair long. He's moved to California, became a hippie. But <laughs> yeah, they just they, you know yeah my my my, my family doesn't get it. My kids get it. My kids my kids make fun of me. My kids my kids laugh. They they think it's funny, you know. But uh, my my my, my mom just worries. You know, she's an old, you know she's an Italian mom. She they 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 just worry. But you know they, you know they they also see that the, that the business isn't what it you know that it's an actual business now, you know, and that's that's the whole thing. It's an actual business. It just has to be a really fun business, you know. You should come out here and check it out one time, Keith. Yeah, I need I need to check it out and see how your facility is, Chief. I never yeah, said I, I smoked. He told you, Chief, said, I didn't know you smoked. No, you never heard me say that at, at, at all on this podcast yet. I'm 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 interviewing at my job, so I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you can come out here, you can come out here and be a visitor, and then you can go back and report on the podcast. You got a firsthand experience. Inside of a legal California grow. Exactly. I, I was able to view the growing. Now, let me ask you this for you growing. How you having that size warehouse that you have? How many people do yeah, you we employ have a large there? Warehouse. How many people you employ? How many people are employed there with you? Um, on the gross, um, well, so we have more. I mean, like I said, we're, we're a pretty big company now. Um, we have a constru- we have a construction team of ten. We have a grow team of six, and we have a a, a, a joint production team of. 20 and a trimming team of 40 so um now everyone doesn't work 40 hours a week our construction and our growers work 40 hours a week and our joint rollers work 40 hours a week and our uh our trimmers work probably four or five days a month you know you know probably you know it's, it's for you know you know 20 hours a day so we you know it's you know because everything you know we're everything based on a cycle i mean we're you know when a plant's ready to produce is when it's ready to produce so we have to we, we take we take plants down at all at, you know at all different times yeah, so it's a pretty big operation. You know, there's, there's there's a lot of moving parts. You know, a lot of different people doing different things. You know, and <laughs> new faces, on new faces. You know, and it's kind of scary sometimes. Like, who are you? <laughs> why? Who are you? And why are you in here? You know. Right. Oh, um, you, oh, like somebody setting up, coming up in there. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, you know, I mean, you know and, and, yeah, there's, you know, because you know, you know, when, when we harvest, harvest are the hardest. Those, those are twenty hour days. You know, and that's and, and every and every single person that works in the company has to be involved in the harvest. And like I said, those are between three and five days a month, you know, which is not a lot, but, you know, it adds up. That's not, you know, if you had a one twenty hour day, uh, you know, a week to your schedule, it's going to freaking screw your schedule all up, you know, but that's part of our life. Um, and uh, those days are the hardest. And we need the most people. So we, you know, we have kind of, you know, part-timers that we, that, that, that they come in just for the harvest. Right. Um, and trimming, you know. Um, trimming last trimming our trimming our regular eight hour days, but those are just you know grueling, grueling trimming weed. You know, we literally have forty people in a room just with a pair of scissors going and just sip, 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 sip. You know, it's a, it's that's what I'm saying. You can see one time. It's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fascinating little operation to like watch go down the line from you know small plant as it grows larger and starts to produce, and then then gets cut down, dried, you know, trimmed, reprocessed, put into joints, and then and then put in the packaging. It's it's kind of a cool process to watch you know and, and you can see it all in one day because we're, we're doing it all constantly every day so you know it all it, so is cameras on the production line i mean is anybody like are y'all watching where uh 
Like somebody's like snipping leaves and sticking it in their pocket. Like, oh shit, I can take this home yeah. and try it out. I mean, you know, um, we do have cameras on, you know, on, on, on the server room. Um, we, we, we weigh everything in and out, so it's kind of hard to really, you know, it's all, it's all based on weight. If I, you know, if I, if I give you, you know, X amount of pounds of product, you have to, you know, when you're done processing it, you have to bring me back X amount of pounds of product. And it, 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 period, you know, so if, had, so if there, you know, there's never really a, really a loss. I'm sure buds get stolen here and there on a trim day from, you know, maybe a new kind of new trimmer or a new harvest guy. But for the most part, our core team, the, you know, all our joint rollers and, you know, our, our, all our joint production people and grow people are all people that, you know, we've brought from either, we've either brought from another part of the country that we know in another part of our lives, um, or we know them from somebody that we know from another part of the country that we know from another part of our lives. It's kind of a rule we have is, I don't, we don't really trust too many people to be in our circle, um, unless we know them from another part of life. You know, um, it's, it's, you know, I, I couldn't have met you in this business and, give you full, you know, and you're only going to go so far in my life, you know, we, which is also cool too, to be able to reach out to people in your life and have them come out here and work with you and make more money and have a cool life, you know, so it is a benefit because we work with a lot of friends, you know, we, you know, we have, uh, we, uh, we bought a big house up in, uh, in the hills in Oakland and, uh, you know, we have like nine people, live, you know, it's a big, huge house, a 12 bedroom house, we've got nine people live here, you know, all, all people that we know from Florida, um, you know, Florida, New York, wherever, just, you know, friends of ours from, from, you know, our business associates from the past that we made, you know, made connections and you know, kept connections with, but now we're out here working and helping us do different projects. So it's pretty cool. There's almost like a melting pot. We, you know, so, you know, we literally just come up with new ideas all day long and try new things out and do new stuff. It's kind of like a, like a, like a, like a little creative melting pot for the industry. It's, it's fun. So when, so when you go on a break, can, can do them, can the employees go smoke some weed? Like, Hey man, I'm taking a smoke break. Yeah, yeah, we let they smoke as much as they want. Oh my god, what a job! <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they don't. Yeah, no, <laughs> our guys don't. Our guys don't complain about about. No, no one complains about working with us. Wow, you know, no, no one complains about working with us. You know, we 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 we, we pay everybody well. We treat them all fairly. Um, and they can smoke as much as they want. <laughs> Damn. Now, as far yeah. as, as as far as the seeds that you're growing, now I'm I, I wonder about it organically. Um, are the seeds natural seeds, or do you uh, can you synthesize them into what's you kind of like? Um, what's the word I'm, well, I'm trying to say? We don't we don't grow from seeds. So we grow we 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 we, we get new plants from, through a process called cloning. Oh, that's so what I was going to ask take, you. Do you clone? Okay, yeah, so clone. we take cutting from 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 more mature plants, mm-hmm. and um, and, and and they they sprout roots and they form new plants. So it's kind of like what they do with, I think that, you know, they, they do it with a few other kind of plants, you know, not, not, not really marijuana related. That's how they're able to mass produce them. And we do the same process. It's just um, going from seed, uh, especially in, you see, we do indoor. There's, there's, there's a few different types of growing. Mm-hmm. We do what's called indoor growing, which is we are completely inside of a building. Okay. Um, and seeds don't really, you know, people don't really grow from seed indoor because you don't really... Um, you're, you're, you're going more for speed rather than for size. Right. You know, we, we, our plants turn over every 70 days our plants produce. So if I, you know, when I plant it today in 70 days, I'm able to produce it. Outdoors, which is where most people grow seeds, um, those plants grow for seven, eight months. Um, and they grow to be 12 feet tall. And they need the seed and all the, and all the, all the benefits that come with the seed to be able to do that. So we don't need to be able to grow that tall. So we don't need to go from seed, and it's just it's a, it's a faster process the way we do it. Wow! So it's, yeah, there's again, there's there's science that there's <laughs> there's a lot of science in this shit, man. I'm telling you, I, <laughs> there's a lot of science. In this shit. <laughs> I hear it, man. Because you know, because I was wondering how you grow indoor, so it's a special type of lighting to to make that thing grow good inside, right? Because I know plants yeah, need sunlight. We have mm-hmm. we we I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll say I don't have any time, but I'll. I'll, I'll um, later on of, of, of our of our facility, yeah, we, you know, you know, each, each, each room we have is equipped with. Um, they're called HPS lights, which are high pressure sodium. Mm-hmm. Each room we have it has twenty four high pressure sodium lights and fourteen. Um, they're called CMH. They're, they're they're like a metal halide LED light, and they both give off different different um, ra- uh, different parts and parts of the light of the light spectrum. Um, and, and that's and that and we pretty much try to mimic the sun. You know, we're 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 pretty much mimicking the sun. Um, we have 13 rooms that size. So, um, 
we, I think, I think in under roof right now, I think we have uh, two forty times probably about five thousand plants under under our roof right now. Dang. Wow, so it's a nonstop process. Every week, you know, five hundred come down and five hundred go in. You know, it's not. It's every. It's nonstop. Every week, it's, you know, cut down five hundred, replant five hundred. Cut down five hundred, replant five hundred. Dry it, trim it. You know, now as far as do a joint, do this, do that, do that. As far as your distribution, you know, is it is it just Northern California? Or you actually provide to the whole state? No, we're in a, we're in dispensaries from uh, from San. Ho- we're, we're in dispensaries in San Jose, San Francisco. Um, we're in a delivery service in Sacramento uh, and L.A. Whoa. And I think we're also going to be in Newport. We're, we're, we're going to be in Newport and San Diego soon <laughs> oh, as well. Hold on. We're, we're, hold we're spread hold throughout hold the state. Pause, 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 pause. Did you just say a delivery service? So you're saying yeah. people, so they have a service now that actually say, hey, man, I need to get um whatever, some of your OG cushion, a quarter ounce of it, boom, boom, boom. And somebody actually can deliver that? Oh, yeah, 100%. Hundred percent. We got you know like Uber right. drivers. Um, <laughs> like Uber Eats. I mean, something like that. That's crazy. Yeah, but it's 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 a service just for that. Okay. Okay. It's a service just for that. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of them. I mean, there's there's probably there's more delivery services than there are um, actual stores at least here in the Bay because it's harder to get a license for a store in the in the in the, in the Bay. Um, but there's hundreds of delivery services, and they'll deliver anything. From edibles to joints to weed to hash to chatter to vape pens to drinks, you know they they got it all, but, you know. And we uh uh yeah, they, 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 we've had delivery service the past twenty years. Bro, that's it was the crazy. best. Sit around with your with your boys on a on a on a, on a Friday night, and you feel like ordering something special, and they just show up at your door ten minutes later. You can get a pizza from one delivery and, a, and some weed from another. Yeah, day. just show up. Damn, what a party, man. Um. Walk me through the the dispensary spots, man. I don't. I mean, I I, I can't really envision. Is it like a storefront? You just walk in. I mean, it's got a name on it, like smoke yeah, good. I mean, they're, a more, they're a little more discreet looking. Okay. You know, I mean, you, you, you can tell out here because um, it'll, it'll be the only store that's got blacked out windows and a security guard standing out front without a sign on it. Okay. <laughs> you okay. know, <laughs> um, usually you know for the most part they'll, they'll all have a green contact. I don't know they do. Um, you walk in, it's a, it's a standard storefront, a little, a little retail shop, and they'll have a bunch of, you know, a couple glass cases with a bunch of jars and different kinds of weed and, you know, a couple glass cases of edibles. And, you know, you, you go through and you can smell different stuff and look at it and t- decide what you want. And they give you, you know, if you don't know what you want, you tell them what feelings you, what, what, what effects you're looking for. And they'll recommend, you know, what strains they have, what, you know, and tell you what will do what. You know, for the most part, they're, you know, they're pretty informative little, you know, you know, uh, little places and it's a safe legal way to get weed you know um which is one of the big pushes for the legalization of it is it's, it's taking you know buying something as simple as weed you know out of a dangerous area or you know being put in a dangerous situation over buying some fucking like weed yo that is absolutely hey, crazy wait, uh-huh. you hold, hold on for one second yes sir Wow, that's some absolutely crazy stuff y'all i mean <laughs> y'all want to call and ask my man joy see a question you can reach me at 404 I'll put it in the room again. Um, shout out to my man, James. Uh-huh. What you saying? What you say, Joe? Let me say, hold on. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep, yep. Shout out to my man, James, the big truck driver who just came in also into the chat room. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the so the, room, the rooms, I mean, the actual storefront has blacked out windows, you said. Yeah, because because they they don't want anybody to they don't want kids to be able to see inside and see what's going on. Hell, the sex shops don't even have blacked out windows. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a little more taboo than sex right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Cause we, we go to barber shop and uh, here, and it's a sex shop right next door. And my my son, you know, as he was getting old, he's like, "Damn, look at all them nasty ass people going in there." And I'm like, "Damn!" In my head, I'm like, "Man." Look at that dude and his girl going. I know he's going to get it tonight. That's what's going on in my head. But my son's just like looking with the pure disgust and disdain on his face. Like, ah, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, funny. <laughs> that's funny as hell, man. I'll be like, damn, man, that dude in there. He about to get it tonight. The girl going to the store with him. But, yeah, that's funny. Um, So, <laughs> the 
let's let's talk about your product one more time as far as uh what y'all are pushing out there i want to i want to give a uh, um a uh, a big push 